My first car was a 1970 Buick Skylark convertible. I only had about $350 saved, so I had to hit my old man up for another $300. I bought the car for $650, took it to Earl Scheib, I painted it white, and that was my ride for a good two years. I then sell it to my cousin Andy for 500 bucks two years later, and within a week he totaled it. Inexplicably, periodically, I'm in like any old car. And again, it wasn't that, it was a 70 and 85. So it was only 15 years, but those cars, you know, especially if you bought an old muscle car uh, from a guy who was a gearhead, he was only selling it because he had beat the shit out of it. I went to the beach in Atlantic Beach. We got a big thunderstorm rolled in. I start the car, it goes about 50 feet and just craps out. I can't get the roof up. It's raining. It's the era before cell phones. There's no payphone around. So I basically had to walk home to Valley Stream to get some help to get the car. And it rained for about four hours in that convertible. Years later, I'm devastated that I had sold my first car that I loved. And I, and I, you know, I, I put a new carburetor into it. I went to the junkyard and found a, I think a 71 door fit on the 70 model of the Skylark. So I did that finally make some money after Private Ryan, a friend of mine who is a mechanic, and I said to him, I said, Maddie, I gotta find the 70 Skylark because I, I wanna get that car. We looked all over Long Island, upstate, New Jersey, couldn't find it, but then I found a 69 Cutlass with a 454 in it that was in beautiful shape. So I got that car in 98 and I still have it today.